everyone. Today we're going to be starting similarity and we're going to be focusing on some similar figures. So in this section we're going to be comparing some similar shapes and the most important thing you should know for this section is that our similar figures are in the same ratio. Okay, so the size will be in proportion. Okay, so let's get started. Starting with some similar triangles, we're going to look at some questions related to the triangles. Question 1 says find the value of h. Now you can see that h, this one, is our pronumeral, so we're going to be looking for that one. And guys, can you see what these two similar figures are, or triangles are? I hope you can see two similar triangles here. The first one is this one here, the little one, that small one. And the larger one is, I'll draw it in a different colour, it's going to be this outside one here. Okay, so there's two triangles within the one big triangle, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to start by comparing the sides because this one is similar to this one, I can see, because, see how it's a right angle here? So this, okay, so I, can, I know this is going to be similar because first of all, you can see that this is a right angle, that's also a right angle, so we know that one of the uh, angles are equal. And as you can see, this angle here, that's a common angle, isn't it? They share that angle, so that's going to be a common angle. Now, this one, that's going to be the leftover angle, so those two are going to be identical because angle sum of a triangle, see these, these two are equal, this is, this is a common angle, so the final angle must be equal, yeah? So do you see how I examined the difference and found out that those two are similar triangles? Okay, so now that I know that they're similar triangles, I can use the fact that similar triangles have sides in the same ratio. Okay, so this side corresponds to this side. This small side corresponds to this side and the larger one. And this is the hypotenuse in the smaller one, and this is the hypotenuse in the larger triangle. Okay, so you know which sides are corresponding to each other. That's very important. Let's get started to find H. Okay, see what I did. I did h over 6 because I need to find h, so I'm going to try to put h on the top. h over 6. Because this side corresponds to this side in the smaller triangle, I'm going to put it together. Okay? And that equals to 25 over 10. So see how h is a side in the bigger triangle? So 25 must also be a side in the bigger triangle. So see how 25 is this hypotenuse here in the big triangle? So I put it there. Now what does that correspond to in the smaller triangle? This one here, so it must be 10. So I put 10. Okay, now the important thing here, guys, is that H is a side in the bigger triangle. They must correspond with each other. Okay, so you can't put this fraction the other way around. So do you get what I mean? So you must put them corresponding to each other. So I've got that now. All we need to do is use our algebra skills to find our value of h. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 6. So I have h left on my left hand side. And just calculate that. That should be equal to 15. So we found that h is 15. So very, very simple, isn't it? So have a good look at that. See how I examine the two triangles? Yeah? So make sure you know which side in the bigger triangle corresponds to which side in the smaller triangle. That's probably the most important thing. Alright, so have a look. And let's move on. Okay, question two. A cone of height 48 centimetres is filled out to a height of 40 centimetres. If the cone has a diameter of 54 centimetres, find the diameter of the cone at the surface of the water. Okay, so this is our cone. It's probably like a conical, I don't know, like a flask or something that you can pour the water in. And see how the water is just up to there? So water is 40, 40 centimetres filled up. Okay. Now, um, we're going to be finding the diameter of the cone at, see how the, f the water is at here, at this level? So we want to find the diameter x. Okay, of the water level. All right, so have a look at that. And as I can think you can see the two similar triangles here. 
I think the little triangle, the little cone actually here, is similar to the larger cone, isn't it? It's just the same, it's exactly the same shape, it's just that it's just smaller, isn't it? Now, if I want to examine the triangles, I think you can see that this triangle here, see how the cross section, if I try to cut it like that, you can see the cross sectional triangle there. Now that would be similar to, I'll draw this here, this right angle here. Hope you can see the colour difference. Yeah? So have a look. And I know that those two are going to be similar, like the same and like the same reasoning as my previous question. Okay, so see how we have two right angles, we have a common angle, and then the, because of angle sum of triangle, the final um, angle must be identical as well. Okay, so that's the similar triangles. And hope you already remember that similar triangles. If you want to prove for them, you can always use the AAA, the angle, angle, angle. So if you prove all three angles are, sim are identical, then you prove for the similar ang similar triangles, okay? So that's what I did there. So let's get started to find our value of x. Okay, so have a look here, guys. x over 54, okay? Now what they did here was, are you trying to do a nut right angle? But if you join these two triangles together, it actually becomes a different type of triangle. Okay, I'll rub this off so you can kind of see what's working. Okay. And because, you remember how I drew the half, the right angled ones? Because both this, this side is identical to this side, okay, eventually this triangle is same or similar to the bigger triangle here. It's just multiplied two, isn't it? So that's what they're using here, okay? So this triangle is similar to this triangle. So what they're doing is they're going x divided by 54. So x is a side in the smaller triangle where 54 is the same corresponding side in the larger triangle. Okay, so make sure you put it corresponding to each other like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing here with another side. So see how x is this one, but see how the height is 40 centimeters? in the smaller triangle, so 40 over, and what's the height of the bigger triangle? Must be 48. So I'm gonna put it over 48. Okay, so have a look. And see how I put it corresponding to each other? So now that I've done that, all I need to do is go ahead and find my value of x. And now just with this one, guys, you can, if for those who are wondering if we can use the height, like this for our ratio, you can definitely use a height as well. It's not really the highest, like the vertical length, isn't it? Well, that one you can also use for ratio. So you don't always have to use the sides, okay? So if you know the height of the smaller one and the height of the larger one, you can also use it for the ratio, okay? So you don't always have to use just the sides of the triangle. So now that I've done that, let's multiply both sides by 54, okay? And you should get something like this. Whoops, sorry, times by 54. And x is left on the left hand side, okay, because 54 is eliminated. Now, calculate it, you should get 45 centimeters, and that's the value of our, di our di diameter, x. Okay, so that's what we're after, and we found it very easily, and it's very similar to the previous question, isn't it? Okay, now sometimes, guys, the question might not actually give you the diagram, so when they don't give you the diagram, make sure you can examine the content of the question very carefully and then transfer that information to a diagram first. Okay, I always recommend you to draw diagrams. That's question two. Question three. Two trees on a street have heights of three meters and nine meters respectively. Okay, so this is one tree, that's height of nine meters, and this is another tree that has a height of three meters. Okay, now at a certain time of the day, the shorter tree casts a shadow of length five centimeters. How far apart are the trees? Okay, so now this is a smaller tree is this tree that's three meters tall. That's the sun. This, um, it's casting a light from the top. Now, when it casts a light, you can see a shadow on the surface, can't you? So the length of the shadow is this length here of five meters. Okay, so that's how it works. So the smaller one casts a shadow of five meters. 
Okay, now the bigger one is probably this long one, which is x plus 5, right? Because this is x, this is 5. Now the reason why I let this be x is because we want to know how far apart are the trees. So one tree is here, another one is here. This is the distance between those two, isn't it? So our goal is to find x, so let's get started with that. And again, guys, I hope you can see the triangles, the similar triangles. This is the first similar triangle. And the larger triangle is going to be this one here. Whoops. As you can see. Can you see that? Okay, and I'm not going to go through the reasonings again because you should already know. It's going to be the exact same reasonings as question 2 and 1. All angles are the same. Okay, so let's get started to find x. Okay, see what I did here? I'm going to go x plus 5 over 5 because our, our goal is to find x. But x is just, this is the length of x, but x is just a proportion, a portion, sorry, of the length of one triangle, right? 5 is the length of a side in a smaller triangle, but the corresponding side in the larger triangle is going to be this length here, which is x plus 5. So I'm going to put x plus 5 on the top because it's easier for us to solve for x. So I'm going to put x plus 5 on the top and what does that correspond to? x plus 5 is the side in the larger triangle, so in the smaller triangle this length is 5. So I put it over 5. Okay. Now that's equal to 9 on 3 and the reason why I'm doing that is because I have 9 on 3. This 9 is a side in the larger triangle and this is the side in the smaller triangle. Okay, so I have 9 on 3. And remember how x plus 5 is a side in the larger triangle and 9 is also a side in the larger triangle. So make sure you correspond that. Okay, so if you, if you put this fraction with the upside down, then you're going to get a wrong answer. Okay, so see what I mean by that? So I've got that. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So x plus 5 is 9 over 3 times 5. So I've eliminated the denominator here. Okay. So just calculate that. It's going to be 15. So 9 over 3 times 5 is 15. So x plus 5 equals to 15. x is simply 15 minus 5, just some algebra, and that's going to be 10 meters. So the distance between those two is going to be simply 10 meters. Okay. So very easy, isn't it? So this one required just a one more step. Because it wasn't simply x in the new, or x itself, we had to subtract 5 just to get x, but that's not a big deal, is it? But you, it's important for you, to, for you to be able to identify that this is what we're, what we're after, x plus 5. Make sure you don't just use x, it must be x plus 5, okay? As you see, as you can see. Okay, so that was question 3. Have a look. And that was some similar triangles. Thank you.